Hi, my name is Kel from KGB Security Locksmiths. Today, I'm going to be talking about Sandleford Safes. Uh, Sandleford Safes are distributed Australia-wide through uh, Bunnings Hardware, and they range in price from around about uh, $30, or just a bit more of that, to up to around about $300. Uh, Bunnings do have another brand of safe, uh, the Carbon, which I'll uh, address in another, another video. Uh, the Sandleford uh, range has been around for about 10 years, and it's really what I term a budget safe. Um, on that point, the, the, the term safe is uh, used very loosely and um, 20, 30 years ago, if you sold a, a product as a safe, uh, really it was truth in advertising. You had to make sure that it was at least reasonable. Uh, I can't quite see how anyone could buy a safe for $40 uh, that weighs six kilogram and seriously consider that that would protect uh, jewelry and cash from theft. Um, it's, in my eyes, uh, just incredibly uh, difficult to do for that price. The, the issue that I have with the Sandleford safes uh, and is that uh, they don't have what I term a cash rating. Um, you go into Bunnings and they're sold as theft resistant or you know, fireproof or whatever it might be and there's no qualification for that. Uh, if I was to do one thing today it would be to just raise your awareness to uh, what cash rating or, or insurance rating actually means and how that uh, determines the strength or weakness of a particular safe. Uh, cash rating simply is a guide that we use in the safe industry to point people to the right safe. Someone wanting to protect $100,000 worth of gold bullion requires a completely different safe uh, than someone who wants to protect $5,000 in a passport. Consequently, uh, if you walk into my shop, I'll ask you what you're trying to protect and then I'll point you to a safe with an appropriate cash rating. Most of the safes that I've seen at uh, Bunnings uh, really, in my opinion, uh, are very, very weak uh, and probably the maximum that I think that anyone should keep in them is, is maybe uh, $4,000 in value. The other issue that I have uh, with, with Bunnings and Sandleford safes is that uh, it doesn't appear to me that there's any spare parts and uh, whilst you might buy a safe and bolt it into your house and think, yep, beauty, job done, uh, in three years time or two years time, when, not if, when the digital lock fails uh, as you're racing to the airport to, to, and you need to retrieve your passport, that's when you'll find that the reliability of such a cheap product will let you down. I, uh, I, I really think that, that it's classically a case of uh, is what what you get is what you spend, or uh, and I can't. Uh, we have safes that range uh, in price uh, right up to three thousand dollars for something the size of a microwave that has a, a hundred thousand cash rating. And uh, whilst we try and avoid the bottom end, uh, leave that to Bunnings. Uh, I just think you've got to be very careful putting your your jewellery or your valuables in a low grade safe. Uh, these are very very easy to, easy to open. There's a whole heap of videos on YouTube uh, showing people how to bounce uh, what, what I term solenoid safes open. And uh, whilst there is a lot of uh, untruths on, on YouTube, uh, this is very factual. And uh, the, that type of safe, the ones that are predominantly sold in Bunnings, can be bounced open very easily. Anyway, I have lots more information on my website. Uh, I invite you to give me a call. Um, or click the links below this, uh, this, this video blog to see how people bounce those safes open. Thanks again for listening.